You know what the coolest part about life is? It's that we constantly remake ourselves. Uh, in fact, it actually happens on a cellular, le cellular level, right? Um, our bodies completely remake themselves every seven years. So seven years from now, cellularly, you are going to be a different person than you were seven years ago. Maybe not up here, you're still gonna have all your memories, you're still gonna have, um, you're still gonna be you, but you're gonna be completely different. Your brain is gonna be completely different. And so the thing is, when whatever we're doing, when we make our decisions, the way we interact with people, the people we are around, all of the things that we come into contact with in this life have an impact on who we're going to become and what we're going to become, right? So you got to be really, really, really um, cognizant of who you're involving yourself with, what types of people you're hanging around with, and what types of thoughts you're keeping in your mind, what types of thoughts you're producing, because those thoughts can actually have an impact on who you become too, right? And so one of the things I do, uh, and I've been trying to make it a practice of lately, because what I've found is that whenever I've been super negative in my life, whenever I have um, put myself into positions where I thought that I had no help, things would just get worse, right? My, my, um, I would get in bad shape, I'd continue to smoke cigarettes, and my health would get worse. But I'd also get depressed, I'd, I'd um, keep putting myself into situations where I'd get more and more depressed, more and more sad, and more and more hopeless about my life. But the more I think positively, the more I think about what I'm grateful for, the more I appreciate what this life has given me, right? The good and the bad, because I've gotten as much out of the bad things as I have from the good things. But the more I appreciate everything that this life has thrown at me and everything that this life has taught me, the more I find myself in positions where I can do other things and that I can pursue things that I want to do and live the life I want to live. So what I want you guys to do at home is to try to make it a practice of being positive. Turn every problem you have right now in your life into a positive, right? It's a challenge. Every problem you have is a challenge. It's just a challenge to be overcome. I want you to think about every morning three things that you're grateful for. Just think about it. I know it sounds super hippie, but it helps so much. Think about three things that make you happy, three things that you're grateful for. And maybe it's things you don't even realize, like having a roof over your head. Maybe like having all your limbs, all your fingers, all your toes. Maybe being able to breathe. Maybe, maybe being able to see, right? Maybe just being able to feel, to feel textures, to feel the wall, because that's all part of being alive. And you know what? A lot of us in this veteran community, we know people who don't have that privilege anymore. Right? People who don't have the opportunities we have just by being here. And it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter um, if you're older. If it doesn't matter if you're 50 years old. It doesn't matter if you're 70 years old. If you're breathing, you still have an opportunity to live and you still have an opportunity to do things to make yourself live your best life. So get out there, be positive, and really think about what you can do to make the rest of your days on this earth as productive as possible, as useful as possible, and as, as enjoyable as possible for you. And it doesn't have to be in a selfish aspect. I find the greatest joy that I have in my life is from what I do to help others and from the value that I provide to others, right? So, hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, it's a beautiful day out right now. I'll go back inside and get some more work done. But I love you all. Peace.